We know we can find the sum of a convergent telescoping series, and we can find the sum of a convergent geometric series. If it's not one of those two, um, it's very difficult to find the sum, as we know. Of course, oh, I have left off here. There's a three. If we look at this, as written, we don't see exactly telescoping or geometric, but we do see it's this is the sum of two terms. We can think of this is one term, this is one term, and I'm, so I'm going to treat these two separately. So first, we will look at this series, k equals one to infinity of one over k minus one over k plus one. Okay, and then we will look at the following series, the sum k equals one to infinity of five minus one to the k over three to the k. Then let's suppose this converges and we know the sum. And this converges and we know the sum. Then this series will converge to this plus this, okay? This is the way it works. Now, this one, you see looking at the terms, this is will be telescoping. So let us write out, here we go, SN. Okay, what is SN? Well, we add all the way up to the nth term. And now I will start writing these. Here we go. Well, when k equals one, we have one minus one half. When k equals two, we have a half minus a third. When k equals three, a third minus a fourth, and maybe I will just write the nth one. When k equals n, we have one over n minus one over n plus one. Like this, okay? Now, we see now this is telescoping because here, these add to zero, these add to zero. The minus a fourth with part of the next term adds to zero all the way out to this one over n with something from the previous term adds to zero. And so we get this, this closed form for Sn as follows. Okay, now we take a limit as n goes to infinity of Sn. This is the limit as n goes to infinity of one minus one over n plus one. This is one, okay? By definition, the sum of this series is the limit as n goes to infinity of these partial sums provided the limit exists. So we have calculated this sum is one, okay, this converges, the sum is one, this limit of the partial sums. Wonderful. Now, let's come over here to this. If you look at this, maybe I will rewrite it so we see it more clearly. This is, without a doubt, geometric. We have five, we have negative one-third to the k. Now, we could, and I will, why not, Let's start writing out some terms. So my first term here is k equals one, and I have negative five over three. My second term, k equals two, I have a positive, it's gonna be five over nine. Then my next term is gonna be a negative five over 27. And then maybe I'll write one more, it will be, let's see, I can just turn this to a minus, like this, okay. The next term will be k equals four. Three to the fourth is 81 with a plus like this. The next one will be negative and so on and so forth. We see here geometric, right? The initial term, so this is geometric. The initial term we see right here. And if you didn't write out if you didn't write out some of the terms, you would just evaluate at the lowest point that you're adding, which is k equals one. Or if you started at four, you would evaluate at four, started at zero, evaluate at zero, whatever. It's whatever the smallest number you're summing over, evaluate, this is the initial term, 
Okay, negative 5 thirds. My ratio here for the this geometric series, well, we see here it's negative a third, but also we see it looking at the terms. As I move from one term to the next, I am multiplying by negative a third. We know the geometric series exactly when it converges and diverges. In this case, absolute value r, one third less than one. This will converge. And we also know the sum. This converges to a over one minus r. So this sum is a over one minus r becomes a plus. This is minus 5 thirds over 4 thirds. When you invert multiply, what do we get? Let's see, minus 5 over 4, okay? So we have shown this series converges to negative 5 over 4. This series converges to 1. And this series, the one that we started with, is term by term the sum, okay? Therefore, we have the answer. We know the sum here. This is 1 minus 5 over 4. The answer is negative 1 over 4. Okay, this is a convergent series. And we have calculated the exact value of the sum.